Hello there. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy Sunday to you all. Dr. Nana here and this is NMTV New York. Today, we want to continue on the topic I titled Lawful Captive. With that, I have my co-host here, Dr. Chris. Hi. Thank you and welcome to the program. Thank you. Dr. Chris will help us delve deeper into the topic of lawful captive. So, Dr. Chris, let me ask you this. How do you describe the phenomenon lawful captive? What does it mean to a layman? And what does the scripture say about lawful captive? <clears throat> Thank you again. Happy Sunday, Dr. Nana. Thank you. I'm happy to be here once more and uh, to deal uh, in this topic that you titled Lawful Captive. Uh, Lawful Captive actually uh, came from a Bible verse. I think it's Isaiah 49, uh, 24. And it says, Shall the prey of the mighty shall the prey be taken from the mighty or shall the lawful captive be delivered that's where the word uh, lawful captive generated from mm. and uh, uh, this takes us back to uh, the history of mankind mm. again um, the uh, i i started by saying where there are no uh, rules mm -hmm. there are no um, violations. There are no disobedience. If there are no laws, if there are no laws, there is no sin. That's correct. And so, in the beginning, it says, uh, when uh, a person has done something deserving to be in captivity, like commit crime and do all those things, and is caught in the process, that person becomes a lawful captive. captive for the <clears throat> for the reason of committing that crime violating the laws mm -hmm. and so in the beginning there was the law that of nature that god gave to our fathers mm -hmm. do not eat uh, the proverbial Fruit. adam's uh, apple whatever it is mm -hmm. you know do not eat it so there was a law and so they willfully when violated that law that's right and for doing the crime i mean they needed to uh put in the time to that's serve right. the punishment uh -huh. and so that's where upon committing that crime they became lawful captive of that law of that law that under they, that law under that law and so also we can uh transpose that we can transport from that uh analogy and say when mankind sinned they became legal captive of Satan himself mm -hmm. because they violated that law. Right. If God, um, if, if, if God didn't want that violation, there would not be that law. That's right. And so it's the same thing. And then when a person is deserving of uh, uh, punishment mm -hmm. after having sinned, that person becomes a lawful captive. A lawful captive. So, but I say here, uh, uh, wages of sin is death. That is what the law says. There, so for every violation of law, there is a punishment. In this case of uh, uh, the original sin, the wages, that's the payment, the recompense for that was death. And so by that sin, man was condemned to death. And so under that condition, they became lawful captive for, for the, death, for the sins that they for committed. the sins that they committed. So now, if someone committed a crime, like I said before, he or she we is caught time. in the crime. Uh -huh. In this instance, that person becomes a lawful captive, captive. Okay. who violated is an extant law that is existing law. Mm -hmm. So take note from this my statement. 
that I said when a person commits a crime and that person is caught mm -hmm. committing that crime, mm -hmm. that person then becomes a lawful captive for, for that for that violation. violation of the so if we move that mm -hmm. into the situation, the first analogy that I mean the the, the story that I gave ahead of this statement, right. you will see that in between that two critical words came out commit and caught okay in my opinion i say here that in between those two words information plays critical role why is information critical why will information be uh, the one that makes the difference <clears throat> information here is critical for one to avoid committing the crime the crime because you need to have some information to know what you should and should not information is also needed that you will have in your possession in order not to get caught committing the crime that's right because in those two instances you commit the crime some people commit the crime and they don't get caught mm -hmm. and so they are not criminals that's right lawful captives uh -huh. but some people commit the crime when they get caught then they become they they are caught and they are now legal captives uh -huh. you understand yeah. so how do you now use information to avoid being, being a caught? lawful captive that is where uh, uh, the churches coming coming here and so uh, many of uh, our people here willingly Remember that the original sin was committed willingly, mm -hmm. willfully. Willfully. Even though knowing this, knowing the law was existing, mm -hmm. they committed it. Willingly. So now the sin, in my view, that turns our people to lawful captive, captive. is yes. willing, willful the, submission yes. of your reasons, your faculties, your God-given conscience. To another man, another man in place of God. In place of God. When you already know that you should submit totally to God. To God. The word says, You shall not worship any, any other man apart from God. God. Right. The law says, and so I, I mean the law says that, and so, but you still go ahead and willfully submit your reasoning to, to this another man. man. You this you let them decide your life. You let them decide for you to not even read the Bible by yourself. Mm. You let them decide when you will sleep with your wife. You let them decide what you will wear, how you will do your life. Instead of looking up to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, you look up to men, mere men, that only come to you and tell you that they are pastors, that they have been called, and you were not there. You did not witness <laughs> it. You submit every reasoning to them, so you become a lawful captive, captive under these instances. And so, many of these people see their reasonings to their master, who are the GEOs. They willfully become slaves. Some even obey the instruction of these charlatans to not listen to uh, outlets where they will get information information yeah that itself they ban them that itself make them condemn themselves to be called, to be Captain. lawful captives That's right. of the mighty uh -huh. mighty they must they they now they must continue to invest in some paradise home according to these people they huh. they see as their mentors right why those people are, they don't they are now blinded because here. the people said do not look at what I do because I am anointed. I am called of God. Mm. You have to just do what I, I say. say. And some of them just take it hook, line, and sinkers. And they begin to live a life devoid of information, yeah. which now makes them ignorant. That's right. All these uh, things, despite the Bible's clear suggestions and uh, 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 positions the bible says seek wisdom whatever it takes whatever it costs you obtain understanding. understanding that again you are violating the rule of god by not seeking wisdom that's by right. just trusting these men who are mere mortals 
by just believing everything they tell you, even if they raise, they raise a magic wand and tell you that this magic wand is where you go, should, uh, where you should, this magic wand is what you should look up to, oh. than looking up to Jesus, oh, the Jesus. author and the finisher of our faith. Oh my God. They tell you that your focus should be on the wand for minutes. For for whatever, second, for whatever. any part of your life. A second in somebody's life, it, that second belongs to you. You should not allow any man to take it from you through and ignorance. Control you. And tell you to look up to a wand. To look up to him. With a wand. To believe when he tells you that if you sell your house. And bring the money. And bring the money to him. God will miraculously uh, now give you money. It. To tell you that if you raise your phone, you will begin to get money, money a lot. Oh. And so, people become foolish. And the Bible says what? My people perish for a want lot. of wisdom. wisdom. What is wisdom here? Information. Because wisdom only comes come through information. That's right. When you are educated, you are collecting information oh. and assimilating it. That, make, that in turn, if you use it well, you become a wise person. That's right. So, and that is where... People become foolish and become lawful captive because they willfully submit their reasoning, their personhood, their faculties to the so-called men of God. Mm -hmm. Because it, I, if I don't come to you, regardless, people say they use voodoo, they use all these ones. It has to always start from your mind. The mind that makes you believe that this man is so uh, magical, is so powerful. That you will be able to cure your sickness. Then instead of seeking the doctor's help, you go to this man for magic healing. That alone you have submitted your reasoning to that man. I'm not saying that people don't do, uh, yeah, uh, they don't uh, pray and healing take place. But when somebody tells you that you will come to him and all of a sudden, the sickness that has been with you for some time, will disappear in a second because he prayed to his own God. You don't have a confirmation the kind of God is talking about. We all know that we should worship the God of the universe, the creator of heaven and earth, the I am that I am according to Christians, and not human, and not other gods, and not the magic wand. So when somebody tells you, my God is going to uh, supply all your need, you are unable to ask him which God, even though the Bible said, test all spirits to confirm the ones that are true. Mm -hmm. You refuse to use that wisdom because you do not know. Now, in such instances, they willfully ignore, uh, uh, ignore information, information, thereby violating instructions to seek wisdom. One, according to the Bible, mm -hmm. to test the old spirits, mm -hmm. to discern the ones that are true spirits. Two, by their fruit, you shall know them. They disregard it. They just accept that the man is called of God. And then they begin to follow him blindly. Even when they told, when such men told them to go and commit crime, they continue to follow the man without looking at the fruit of the spirit. Then they also ignore that even though this man is a so-called man of God who should live by example, his, his uh, tapes are coming out that he's sleeping with a lot of women. You say, oh, everybody for everybody has seen. Yeah. Then they continuously do it and they carry, they take people's wife. They do all sorts of crime. They carry drugs. They do arm. They, cap, they kidnap people. You know that. But somehow you believe that God has called them. You continue to stay there. Despite the fact that the word, the word of God says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. You did not test it. So, some of these violations come eh, from the position of ignorance. Ignorance based on total submission of your thinking faculties to a man who has collected the title for himself as the man of God. So now, given all that we have said and given the situation in Nigeria about the pastopreneurs, mm -hmm. because I they are all pastopreneurs in my view, because none of them is actually, uh, very few of them will be talking truly and 
listening to God before they speak to their peers. Most of them come there to perform the action, how, how do you call it? You call it the action time. Mm -hmm. The action time, they are coming there to speak in action for their peers, to clap for them and all of that. So given all of that, and the, the, why it's so uh, difficult is that some of the people that actually know that are close to me, they're not ready to listen to anyone else apart from what that their GU is telling them. So how can the people of Nigeria now be free from all this evil that is going on in the church? Thank you, Dr. Nana. Again, everything boils down to ignorance. But ignorance. What is the cause of ignorance? I earlier mentioned that information is critical here. When you willfully ignore information, you become ignorant. And when people are ignorant, they do stupid things. Ignorance, is it a sin? To answer that question, because many people in Nigeria want to be religious about everything. everything. So let us see if ignorance is a sin according to the word of God. To willfully decide not to get information. When the Bible says, seek wisdom, whatever it costs, obtain understanding. Mm -hmm. That means find information mm -hmm. and be in a position of knowledge. But you decide to be ignorant. Is that a sin? Yes. yes. yes By is. the first standard, the Bible has already commanded you to get information, to get educated, to get uh, updated, to improve yourself. You willfully refuse Ignore to do that. that. Despite your education, some of them professors, they submit themselves willingly to somebody who just says you that I'm a man of God. He did not test the spirit. So is it a sin? Absolutely. Look at two verses from the Bible. Ephesians 4, 18 says, They are darkened in their understanding, mm. alienated from the life of God because of ignorance. Listen to that again. Darkened in their understanding. Yeah. That mm. means they lack understanding. They lack it. Alienated, removed from the life of God because of ignorance that is in them due to their hardened heart. hearts. Mm. That's a Bible verse. Again, Ephesians 4, 18. Mm. Then you go to Hosea. Jose, well, I don't know how people pronounce it, but Jose 4, 6. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of, for lack of knowledge. knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, mm -hmm. I reject you from being a priest to me. That's the word of God there. Do <laughs> that again. My people, this is a Bible verse. We'll say 4, 6. Read it. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We're talking about ignorance. Mm -hmm. Because they rejected knowledge, Therefore, God rejects them from being a priest unto him. That means they are not acceptable. They are not acceptable. So even all these people so is that are not listening. So is ignorance a sin? Yes, it is. It's sin by not even seeking that knowledge. That's what the scripture is saying here. He continues and he says, Dr. Nana, he says, And since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. Is that My what the cause? That's the big Is cause. that not a cause? So, uh, so is ignorance a sin? It is a sin. Thank you. So how can the Nigerian pills? Because the essence of this program, like I said, you know, is to, is to create awareness, mm -hmm. topical issues, and everything that is happening in Nigeria is topical, and it's something that we have to discuss. How can the Nigerian pills be free from this captivity of not even wanting to listen? Because you just you have to make sure that you are a pastor for them to listen to you. So, and that's why we have so much fake pastors all over the place, fake GEOs, fake apostles, fake prophets, they are all fake, they're out there. But the Nigerian pews, we want to hear from a pastor who have so misled them all these years. 
is misleading them every step of the way. So how can they be free? Because of the crime that is, the rate of crime that is going on in Nigeria is too much. The insecurity is too much. I sh I in my last episode, I played a, a video that is of uh, children trying to practice how to become kidnappers. So all of that and these rituals. And I wanted to ask you, because in some of our episodes, you talked about um, traditions, how those were now eliminated not to be killing people and all that those are like the prima age so are we going back to the traditional way of having to sacrifice people where it's allowed because of what is happening in nigeria the, 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 the rate of rituals that is going on in nigeria how can this information how can these people receive this information how can they be free from the grips of their geos now today we are dealing with uh and again it goes back to what i said before ignorance mm. is a sin and you have seen it from jose 4 6 that god even caused the children of people who decide to be in ignorance mm -hmm. now first the bible says according to the word of god it says seek wisdom whatever it takes it costs you obtain understanding that's right it did not say uh, go and meet your a man to give you wisdom mm -hmm. the wisdom is already laid down in the books of religions quran bible and some traditional books in fact the far people are also writing their books because like i said in the other program ifa and all these people they they seek to worship god they seek to worship god the same god led marry according to them that they know the way they know it and the way it was passed to them. Mm -hmm. So religion is a thing that you have to take your text. The text guides the uh, religious philosophy. Mm -hmm. And so if you are not grounded in your text and you say that you will hear from a man that you think has called himself man of God, in the case of Islamic clerics, at least they go to the school. Mm -hmm. they, everybody know them to have learned about the Quran before they will come to the pulpit and say they are leading the flocks right. but most of these people that call themselves pastor they, they don't just... even need to go to school 90 percent of them did not bother to go to the school to right. learn how to read the bible or write the bible or to learn the contents of so the bible they, just they just come out and if they were criminals before like i said in the last program people who are hardened criminals who thought that they are about to be caught armed robbers kidnappers a rapist. But why do you burglars. think people are listening to them? Why do you think people are listening to Again, them? Again, it begins, it goes to the thing that we said before. Lawful captive. When you're already a lawful captive, you can, you, it's just like uh, the, uh, the, the neutralization theory. theory. When they say you become neutralized. Is it lack of hope? And Is you begin to say, oh, I'm already in this state. You are not even willing to give a try to escape. You already give up. There was a preaching by one of them, the so-called uh, Pastor Prenoria, in many years ago when I was young. He says, the position of unknown is uncomfortable. Many people don't want to be there. So they want to be where people are hailing a uh, man of God, where they are used to. Changing that environment becomes difficult. Some of them have heard variously, seen videos of their GEO doing, doing all evil, doing things. all this crime. But because they are used to going there to uh, felicitate and to so mix up with people, they become tied to the place emotionally, so psychologically. How, how can they receive and so those freedom? people continue to uh, tap into that emotion and psychological tie to that edifice, to that uh, flashing. And they begin to continue to go there. Some of the people, yes, they use uh, jazz. But many people have been to those churches too and was not able to, uh, to be tied there. Mm -hmm. The problem is that the people who decide to be willful, igno willfully ignorant are the ones that remain there and continue to sin. So they are the ones who will check themselves and say, how do I want to end up? After pretending that you are serving God for all these years and at the end of the day, all you have done is to serve man of God in place of God, mm -hmm. and then you end up badly. Is that what you want to choose? So these are the questions they need to ask themselves. 
It will come gradually and it's beginning to come. Like I said to you, Martin Luther brought the revolution. I wanted you to talk about that. In he, brought the, the, he brought the revolution for people to read the Bible mm -hmm. and demystify that class. It's a clique of clergy. I actually wrote an article today on that. The clique of clergy, they always hide information. It's, it's historical. Mm -hmm. it is, they, it's called the religious truth. People like, um, uh, there are some researchers who have done research on this. There's a uh, Basa, Basa or something like that, that have done research on it, that proved that religion was the only source of truth. Mm. <laughs> it was the only source of truth until science came in, through religion. Mm. It came in from within the religious truth to establish scientific truth. Scientific truth, that's why so there's, it was, there's still a clash. Yes, so it. scientific truth now took over and began to control the definition of truth. So it, it, it takes the revelation of truth for people to know that they are ignorant. And it comes from seeking the truth That's to why collect I told the information. The truth you know is the one that will set the you free. The truth you know, indeed, is mm -hmm. the one that will set you free. Right. If you don't know information, you don't know it. That's you, right. But you can decide to know information. It's a willful election by you, to decision seek. to say you want to stay ignorant. Otherwise, you can pick up the Bible and read. The people that made Bible accessible to all was uh, started by Martin, Martin Luther. Luther. These same people, some clique of people have started trying to bring out the truth using their phones and their recording to get the truth from the people to expose to the to people. Demystify to demystify the, this the, class the of... The usage of uh, touch not, touch my, not anointing, my anointing, which is in the Bible, and they are yes. using it to run them. Exactly. So I think my hope here is that people are starting to get it. Two years ago is when I started this my program. Actually, many people were not doing this blogging that they are doing uh, all over the place, right? But it takes time that everyone is now talking about this whole thing. So I'm believing that... There will be the Martin Luther, not the Martin Luther King Jr., not our Martin Luther King Jr. So this one is a clergy. It was, you know, history has it that is a German priest, right? So Martin Luther, as you have explained, it is the one who broke down all this uh, holy of the holy and all allowing people to read the holy book. And now every one of us is talking about how this uh, touch not my anointed, do my perfect no harm. They are using it so wrongly in Nigeria, and people are under a uh, captivity. So, as we are all talking about it, the people that will be free are the people who will seek the knowledge. The people that will be free are the people who will listen to people outside their churches. Because, for for my uh, for what I understand now, the, the people who go to redeem might not even listen to people who are going to win us. The ones that are going to win us. They will not listen to Yahilome, the Fry Herman. They will not even listen to that one. That one will not listen to all those ones. That one will not listen to Sulema. They will not listen to Cherubi and Seraphim. They will block their block They will block them. They will block them. The one in Abuja. So it's like a court team. And they go to the extent, Dr. Nana, that they say. You have to stay with one apostle. It's not believing. They brainwash not, people they to the extent that they say, them. you don't even listen to another preacher. Just listen to only the one they say that God has appointed is, for you. For you. You were not there. Yes. But they will tell you that God has appointed this apostle for you. You must stay listening to him and whatever his command is, is what you will do. So it is crazy. It is but the army of change has started has building started. And, it, and it has come like the generation of Martin Luther King Martin people Luther. are coming up now yes. speaking about it mm -hmm. and change like you said we mm -hmm. spoke about change that's right change is constant, it's constant. change will always catch up mm -hmm. change will come. will come so it is my advice to all the GEOs out there yeah, people please. who are still doing uh, pastor Prenoria mm -hmm. those of you who have made enough money go and establish businesses, businesses. real businesses Nigeria, I'm business. happy to hear that some of them are actually now establishing a dialysis center well, maybe because of their team. age uh, so they are doing team. it it's okay mm -hmm. but you need to begin to go into business years. some of you are medical doctors and you go decide to be uh, yelling yeah 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 on the phone <laughs> instead of you to go and establish church 
and uh, I mean, instead of you to go and establish, establish hospitals, hospitals and build it and use your expertise <laughs> to develop and help people, you are in the church building stadium and doing yeah, 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 <laughs> and coming to dance palongo in the on Sundays. It does not make any sense. You guys should now call yourself, you in the pulpit, call yourself to order and begin to behave like human beings. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you people are just now uh, ridiculing the church. And, All over the place. Uh, when you were born, when you guys were either Muslim or not going to church really, you saw how organized the church was. Yeah. Yes, there was crime, but you guys now make crime the centerpiece of your uh, press, uh, church pastoring. This is criminal. And you guys should go and look at yourself inward. Go and start establishing business. Stop committing the crimes. Clean up the pulpit. There are some of you who are good. Very but because cute. of you who are now uh, advertising and doing sales uh, business on the pulpit, these good ones are not able to are pass able messages. To pass you, message. People just the leave their church and go and look for miracles in your can place. Can no longer be heard. Yeah. And some of them even forget to call themselves pastors these days because they are so afraid and now they are being painted uh, black. You know, so because the bad ones are now they are more than the good ones. They are still good pastors who really want to serve God, who want to, you know, you know, talk to, uh, bring people to God. But all these flamboyant, flashy, the way you call them, they are all, they are all fakes. And they are actually taking people out of the house of God and putting, uh, putting them into criminality and uh, reducing Nigeria and causing so much uh, havoc in Nigeria. And uh, our program will continue. And Absolutely, just... Dr. Nana, before you close, because I was watching some uh, movie, the last, uh, some uh, programs, and some people who were Babalaos, I was shocked. They said they were born into MFM, some of them in Redeem. But when they began to see that the thing is not real, they went to begin to learn Ifa and became Babalao. How about that? So my brothers and my sisters on the pulpit, it is time for you all to change. Again, this is for you and the pew. It's mm -hmm. for the pew and the pulpit. Yeah. Uh, the pulpit and the pew. That's right. It's for the lead and the flux. Mm -hmm. Seek uh, wisdom. Whatever obtain I understanding. Say. Whatever it takes you, obtain understanding. It is not only for the followers. The followers seek wisdom. Read your Bible. Get information. Yes, you can gather together because the Bible said, do not forsake the gathering of the We have a job that we are telling You understand? Yeah, but the problem is that you all gather and then you only listen to what the pastor say. You don't, don't corroborate, you don't support it with don't learning the Bible own, yourself. You don't blend it, you don't do And your so own when the pastor says things you that you should not say, God, instead of you to know you the seek truth, understanding from your GEO. You begin Anything to is happening him. in your house, you are going to meet GEO. GEO is not a is not a doctor. GEO is not a counselor. GEO is not a lawyer. All of you take your pastor or geo to be telling them everything that is happening in your home and they will turn you upside down pastors change your ways begin to do uh, to lead according to the tenets of your religion rule when you do that then people will begin to see the truth right there through you and you are living the life that you preach and so people will begin to change and truly turn to god if that is your mission continue but if, it's, if you know that in the first place it's joblessness that got you to become yeah, a pastor, some money. go and uh, get out of business. that. Get out of the business and, and then you begin to do other things. Do other business. Then you in the uh, pew See, begin to read Bible. Read, your, you own read Bible. your own Bible. And then you can discuss Bible with your pastor. Pastor is just a human being like you. Uh -huh. Stop worshipping them even when they tell you that. Yeah, if they say go to get out of their church, you get out to another church. That means He's not willing to change. Okay, so let us all live according to the tenets of our religion, the religious uh, philosophy. And then uh, also, like I always say, use the phones use. appropriately. And use the phone. You can see where the phone there's is already. There's no magic money yes. anywhere. There's nowhere there's magic money. Exactly. It's destruction. True. And you can already see what the uh, phones are already doing. You can see the changes that everybody is now, some people are becoming aware. And it can only, it will grow, it will grow more. We need awareness, we need the cleansing of the uh, church so that people can begin to uh, have that church uh, religion sincerely, the way it's supposed to be. Because the Lord is coming to clean up his house. Thank you. He's coming to clean up his house. Whether the GEO like it or not, he's coming on them and he will clean them all. So what we are asking the youth is look up to God, 
not look up to your GEO because they have failed our country. They are continuing to fail. But today's program in ending, in closing, we are asking that the youth seek more information. All the people in Nigeria seek more information. Even the leaders Don't be locked seek, more seek more information. You pastors seek more, seek information. more information. So that you can do the right thing. So that you can do the right thing. So that we can move uh, Nigeria forward. Because people believe so much in this uh, pastor Prenora in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And that has led us so much in the dark so i thank you all for watching and now uh, we'll be coming back again sometime eh? soon thank you dr chris thank you